And we're live at PDAC. We were with Daryl Hodges. You are the CEO and chairman of Electro Metals and Mining. We're going to be talking about some exciting developments with your company. You also have a financial raise about uh, going public very soon that if you're watching this, you may want to uh, continue watching because you'll be able to uh, potentially participate that in later. My good man, Absolutely. welcome. Brandon, thank you very much. I appreciate the time uh, you guys are spending with us. And yeah. Looking forward to telling the story here. We're quite excited about it. It's always exciting when you find a story before it goes public, but also when there's yeah. just so much excitement behind it. Uh, you know, you're, exactly. you're just getting ready for everything. You're getting your, exci your investors excited. You're getting ready to get your drill programs and everything put together. But uh, before we start jumping into that raise sure. that I spoke about yep. earlier, yep. what I would like to talk about is your overall uh, overview of your company, but also sure. this threefold strategy you have for electro mining as well. Right, exactly. When we started the company up, uh, what we wanted to do was focus not on like early stage exploration, but we wanted to focus on a company that we could see a clear path to cash flow, or at least a potential path to cash flow. And so what we wanted to do was find an advanced exploration project that had the key ingredients that everybody loves, whether you're an exploration developer or you're an investor, what you want to find is a it's a company that has a great location, has resources already on the property, and has exploration and development upside. And we hit the ringer on all three of these. So we're super excited about this project. Yeah, yeah. and, and we'll, let's talk more about the, the project. It's called uh, the Magusi Project. What are your plans here? And is there, like you were saying earlier, a potential for near-term cash flow from it? Yeah, that's the sort of thing that we were looking for. And we sort of combed through several projects before we uh, came to this one here. And we're very lucky to have uh, struck on this deal, actually. And I, I have familiarity with the project from uh, 2006 when I was involved in it with another company a long time ago. And where, what we like about this project is starting with this location, which I mentioned earlier. And if you can see up here on the diagram, we're, we're located very close to the Ontario-Quebec border. And we're basically right next door to the uh, Horn Smelter of Naranda. You can access that 55 kilometers by gravel and paved road right from our site. In addition, we're about 135 kilometers from a concentrator near Timmins, Ontario. So we have both, uh, both locations can take our material from us. So we're very lucky to have this uh, location and a great property to develop. Yeah, and, and, and like you said earlier as well, for many people who are obviously investing in exploration companies, right. location, but infrastructure is so important. Exactly. You can find the best uh, deposit, but if there's no rows, there's no anything to be able to get exactly. it all out, you're stuck. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> and that really helps us uh, move this project forward. I mean, when you think about the cost to put a mining project into production, everybody knows that it's super expensive. Yeah. But when you're here and you're close to these facilities, that really brings down your timeline and it brings down your cost structure. We don't have to build our own concentrator. We don't have to worry about a tailings dam. We're basically going to drill, blast, crush, and ship ore. That's the plan. We haven't got there yet, but that's the plan with our yeah. ex advanced exploration project. Yeah, well, if you keep going over here, you got another slide here as well. Yeah, and this is a little bit for people that don't really know about the Naranda camp. Uh, it's been around for over 100 years, and it was a, mining, a big mining center for Canada for a long, long time. There's been over 20 of these types of deposits developed in the Naranda camp. There's been over 120 million tons of ore developed. So we're, in a, we're already in a region that is uh, very prolific for developing these types of projects. It's been a while since a new one was uh, brought into production. Yeah. We want to be the next guys to do it. Yeah, yeah. and one more part about the Magusi deposit as well. We've got some sure. historic uh, resources here as well. Yeah, exactly. So like I said, this is an advanced project and this is exactly what we're looking for. It does have a resource that was calculated on it. Um, and this was all, the, the previous operators of this uh, property, everybody was sort of concerned and planning to go underground because a lot of the early drill sections went quite deep. This thing continues quite a ways to depth. Yeah. But we're looking at this from a little bit of a different way. This also comes right to the surface, as you can see from this section. So that's a, that's a ground surface. Sorry, I knew I knocked that over. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's ground surface right there. So this is amenable to an open pit sort of quarry operation style. Yeah. So again, that's another reason why we were so excited to pick up this project because again, wanting to see a clear pathway to potential production, that's another thing that helps us. Absolutely. And talking about a clear pathway, you're also looking for a clear pathway to listing as well as it's still a private company. Can you give us a little bit of your corporate structure, but sure. also the capital structure and the management team that you put together? Sure, absolutely. Uh, currently, we have 33 million shares outstanding. Um, we have uh, about 12 million warrants that are uh, very close to the price that we're talking about here. Um, we're, we're planning to do an RTO. We've already, uh, so the press release is already out. Uh, once we bolt that on, we'll have about 37 million shares. So the shell pre-money pre will have about 10% uh, 
uh, ownership of the shares of the new company that we're going to create. Um, the plan here is to uh, finance. We, we have an aggressive plan to move this uh, property forward, and we want to raise anywhere between three and a half to five and a half million dollars. We want to raise the maximum here so that we don't lose any momentum on the project. I mean, it's yeah. key to us. We have a very clear plan laid out that we want to do on this property, and we don't want to lose momentum. We want to have good news flow. We want to continue that news flow well into 2024. And the way to do that is raise the five and a half million dollars that we'd like to raise. Yeah, fantastic. And now for somebody who is watching this and says, you know what, I, I'd love to find out more information. Where can they find that information to, to get a hold of you? Sure. Uh, our website, which is not posted here, uh, they can go on our website. Uh, it's a long name, www.electrometalsandmining.com. So you can look that up. Uh, we have posted already. We have a 43101 filed on CEDAR already. We've gone through our audits. Uh, we're just wrapping up the 2022 audit at this point. We've met with the TSX Venture once already. We've had our introductory meeting. So we've really working as hard as we can to get this company public this year. You know, there's nobody knows what the exact outcome will be, but we're putting a pedal to the metal to get all of this done this year. So we're very determined to get this company up and on its feet and financed and starting to drill and develop this project. Yeah, love to hear it. Well, I always like to end these interviews before asking, for an investor who's looking into this, what can they be excited about throughout this year and, of course, the, the months to come? Sure. Well, if you're looking at a project and you want to get in, invested in a company that has a lot of news flow potential, a lot of upside, we have upside both in the exploration side, the drilling, because we've got five additional targets on this property that we need to explore. We have the existing Magusi deposit, which is the one that we've been talking about, which we plan to drill off, add to the resources, continue with the metallurgical testing and get ready for a bulk sample in 2024. So we will have a steady stream of news flow all the way through 2023 and into 2024. And we're going to keep moving this project forward. We'll be putting out assay results, obviously not hole by hole, but in bunches. And you can expect to see some really significant high grades coming out of this deposit. Oh, great to hear. Appreciate yeah, very much for your really time. Good. I hope yeah. you enjoy the rest of the PDAC conference. It's just starting right now, so lots to come. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And I think we're the first uh, interview of the, of the session, right? So Absolutely. everybody enjoy PDAC. Drop by our booth at 2131. We're right beside Agnico Eagle. You can't miss us. And uh, hopefully you have a great show. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.